Okay, guys, let me know if you guys can uh, hear me well and see me well. Put something in the chat box. Let me know if you guys can hear me well and see me well. And with that in mind, uh, let's get started with tonight's uh, study session. So if you're new tonight, um, I'm going to be answering your questions. If you guys have any questions, put it in the chat box and I'll get around to answering it at some point tonight. If you're returning, thank you for returning. You know what to do. And with that in mind, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So anything that I'm answering is going to be right here at the bottom. All right, so you'll be able to see the chat that I'm answering. When I'm finished answering all of you guys' questions, or most of it anyhow, uh, I will do uh, a couple of practice questions with you guys. So with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Now let's put it on the chat here to see what I'm talking about. All right, we got a question. Oh, Andrew, the questions on the simulator, are they identical to the ones on the exam? No, they're identical in structure, yes, but they're not the exact same questions. But they're close enough to the real exam. If you can do good on the TIA simulator, get at least an 80%, you're going to do fine on your real test, okay? The exam is on a 28. I'm not doing very well in, in the mock. I tend to overthink. Stick with the mindset. That's what you guys have to review, the mindset on a on a consistent uh, basis. So stick to the mindset, and I think you're going to be okay. All right? Samir, I'm getting around uh, 60% on the first try of the simulator. Should I check the answers that I got around before? Yes. 60% is kind of low. You should make sure that you review what you got wrong and look at the video explanations. You know, on the simulator, I have video explanations of every single one of the questions. So look at what you got wrong. See why the mindset is getting that particular one and go ahead and uh, then follow up or review your mindset. Go back to your course, review your mindset section, and then take it again. Hello, Andrew. I'm testing next Saturday. Okay, good. I'm getting 80s. Then you're fine. When I take all the mocks, I'm, all the, I'm not doing so. Don't worry about that. If you can get 80 of mine, you're going to be just fine. Not everybody has, you know, good stuff. Uh, Gina's Woodslard says, I passed the PMP on August 21st. Congratulations. With three above targets, with three above target, um, hold on, where the hell am I? Thank you for providing great materials to prep it. No problem. This is the first free moment I've had to come back and share. I celebrated with carrot cake, best cake ever, and two uh, hearted IPA. Now, that sounds like the way to celebrate. Good cake and good beer. It's always a way to celebrate. Absolutely. Congratulations on passing your exam. I'm super happy we're able to help you pass your exam. So, absolutely, congratulations on that. And I see you celebrated well. Continue celebrating. Hopefully, you can put that PMP to good use. All right, you guys can hear me. Uh, is CAPM part of PMP? It used to be part of PMP, but not, you know, if you study PMP, you can probably pass the CAPM, except the CAPM now has business analyst questions that is not covered on PMP. So there is something on the PMP that, on the CAPM that is not on the PMP. So, but whatever you learn in CAPM is a good level up on the PMP. So I'll tell you that much. Uh, but is CAPM part of PMP? Uh, most of it is, but you still need to learn BA in order to uh, pass your CAPM. All right. By the way, did you guys click on that like button? Come on, guys. Click on that like button. Tom says, I take my test on the 28th. Super nervous. Mm, it's understandable. It's okay to be super nervous. I think we're all a little bit nervous when we all take exams. Don't don't feel bad. That's just part of the process. The simulators are getting 74 to 79. That's fine. I'll try to get that up to 80, and you're going to be okay. Hey, Andrew, how come I couldn't add my... TIA certificate on LinkedIn. I'm not sure. Uh, generally, you just copy paste a picture of it, and generally you're fine. Not sure about that. 
Hey Andrew, I'm getting 80s on the simulator, then I started aiming to get 90s and start overthinking. Don't overthink it, just go with the flow, man. Understand the mindset and do the test. Don't start overthinking it. Just understand it and keep going forward on that. Uh, do you have a practice exam for ACP on that? No, not yet. Every And every time I come here, people ask me that. Do you do PMI ACP questions? Reality is, I don't think you need it. And the other thing is, if I make it, I'm not sure if it's going to sell well. Because, of course, it's not a big-time seller. I am making a CAPM simulator. Uh, I'm very busy this week. I didn't get to make all the videos for it, but... I wrote all the questions for it. So I will be releasing a Cap M simulator next week or the following week. I just, I'm too booked this week. I'm teaching a live class this week. Hopefully some of my students from the class that I'm teaching this week was able to join me tonight. I don't know if they did or not. Uh, Dos says, I did it. I'm pretty sure I know what you did. Passed the PMP on 916 a few days ago. Congratulations. Three above target. Perfect score. Congratulations. One PERT. Told you guys you got to know your PERT formulas. And one EVM. You guys have to know your EVM. The rest of it was pretty situational. The mindset is everything. All right. Make sure you know the mindset, guys. If you don't know what the mindset is, get that in my live class, in my Udemy class, or the class that comes with the book. Uh, make sure to use that. Those says, I used uh, the book plus the Udemy and the simulator. It's pretty much a book, Udemy, simulator. And you will pass your exam. Absolutely. Congratulations uh, on that, Those. Those says, and yes, I wore lots of blue, secret to pass in. Celebrated with a chocolate cake. That's good stuff. Tacos, that's good stuff too. And wine. What's up with the wine? Sour grape juice. Oh, my God. I <laughs> know you don't approve <laughs> So happy to have that weight off my mind. Yes. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go back and celebrate again. Get some more tacos because those are those are amazing. Get a couple more uh, pieces of chocolate cake. Or try uh, try a uh, carrot cake this time. And uh, don't worry the wine, man. What's wrong with you, man? Wine is not good for you. Beer is better than wine. Look it up. It's true. Uh, I'm not making that up, actually. Beer has more nutritional and makes you live longer if you drink beer than you drink wine. It's true. It has more antioxidants. At least I think so. Look it up. You'll see what I mean. But those keep on celebrating. Congratulations on passing your exam. Welcome to the world of PMP. Coral blue shirt. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is it right to say that Scrum Master is part of the development team? No. Scrum Master facilitate the team. The Scrum Master is not part of the team. I'm thinking ch chocolate frosted carrot cake. Hmm, Sterling, I've never heard of that. Chocolate frosted carrot cakes. I've never heard of a chocolate frosted... Uh, I've never heard of that one before. Chocolate frosted carrot cake. I've never seen that. They didn't really have, generally, they have like these vanilla ones. Did you guys see the video I put up on Friday? It was all the lovely cakes I had. I had a piece of chocolate cake, carrot cake, and my wife bought the horrible spoiled milk cheesecake. But I did have some cherry vanilla Coke and a beer, so it was all amazing stuff. Um, I was it, hey, Andrew, Mozambique, St. Lucia, is there an updated ACP exam? Got sidetracked on my PMP. No, it's the same thing. ACP hasn't been updated in years, man. I can count five, six years. I don't think that exam has seen an update. So go figure on that. I'm scheduled for my exam next Thursday. You got this after studying for a month. Super excited. Using the course in a simulator. Just make sure you know that mindset and you're gonna be you're gonna ace your exam. Come back. Let us know when you pass your exam. You got this, all right? And I don't have access to the updated videos. Uh, that one should be there. There's something with the hosting on that platform. But don't worry, you're not missing out anything. It's the same thing. It's just a different version of the recording. In other words, it's a, it's the same stuff, it's ex except I use a different presentation method. Same slides. Um, are there testers part of the development? Are testers part of the development team? 
are they customers? No, testers are, are part of your team. Customers are people that uses it, not tests it. I passed my PMP last October. All right, welcome back. Would that help somewhat with my... What? I passed my PMP last October. Will that help somewhat with my PMP exam? I don't know. To pass your PMP, I don't even know what you're asking me here, man. Rephrase that question. Do you have a simulator for CAPM coming soon? Two weeks? I wrote the questions. I haven't done the videos. I was supposed to do the videos to go with the explanations, but I'm teaching a class this week, so maybe next week. Um, uh, Andrew, th uh, thanks, Andrew. I passed my PMP last week. Congratulations. I found the simulation very useful. Anytime I was unsure, unsure of an answer, I just heard Andrew's voice in my subconscious, in my subconsciousness, reminded me the mindset. Yes, remember the mindset. Take the exam. Know the mindset. You're gonna pass your exam. So, absolutely, congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How did you celebrate? Uh, is it worth taking it before taking a PMP? So, if you have the experience. Do the PMP. I don't see the point. And keep in mind, I sell both classes here, so I'm not going to be biased here. Um, I wouldn't do CAPM if I have the, 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 the experience to do PMP. It just wouldn't make sense because PMP is, if you have the experience, means you're not looking for an entry-level position. CAPM is an entry-level position. If you're looking for an entry-level position in project management, then CAPM makes sense, not PMP. If you have years of experience, you shouldn't be looking for an entry-level position. In that sense, get your PMP, not your CAPM. All right? Uh, Andrew, I've been preparing for PMP for the last three weeks, and I'm going through Demi course, and I'm halfway through. Um, how long... I'm halfway through. How long do you think one should prepare for the PMP exam? You know, I've always told people this, even in the course, I tell you guys this. Passing a PMP is, you should be studying from 60 to 100 hours. Your, the course itself is 35 of those hours. So you got another 30 to 70 hours to study. Now, some people are going to be quick and fast. Some people are going to have to repeat uh, some of the information. So that's really up to you. All right, but uh, 60 to 100 hours. How long is that? What if you study for 25 hours a day for four days and you don't sleep? It'll be four days. You study for two hours a day. It could be anywhere from 30 days to 50 days, right? So it depends on how many, how much hours you put in per day, per week, per month to pass that test. Yeah, Andrew, thank you. I used your course on Udemy to pass my CAPM last month. I'm about to sit for the PMP next month. Will this, but uh, the syllabus change? Any tips? Uh, no, the syllabus have not changed for PMP. It's the exact same thing. The syllabus changed for CAPM. So congratulations on passing that. I'm super happy you were able to help you. Did you celebrate well when you passed your CAPM? So congratulations on that. Uh, did you get a uh, couple of beers? Any tips was the last thing? Uh, yeah, start doing your PMP. A lot of what you already learn in your CAPM is repeated in PMP, except PMP has a mindset and it's more situational. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP last week. Congratulations on that. I followed the recipe with the blue shirt, the blue shirt, and celebrated well. Did you get a? Did you get some cake? How about some cherry vanilla Coke? Did you get some of that? Thanks a lot for your course. No problem. Welcome to the world of uh, PMP. I see you celebrated well. That's what matters. Uh, celebration is, is always uh, important to do. All right. Hopefully, you know, when you guys pass, you can put the PMP to use. Please, if, on deferred decisions, and I don't even know what that means. I don't know. What, what are you saying there? I thought important decisions should be taken to avoid negative impact. Are you saying, why do we defer decisions in lean? Because when lean welcome changes, right? In, in agile, it's about welcoming changes at any point. If you defer decisions, you don't make a decision right now, then basically you can accept changes at any point. For example, 
if you don't make up your mind of what color you want to paint the wall till right before you buy the paint, I can ask you for any color. If I say one week before you paint the wall, I want it blue. You say, okay. And then one day before you paint the wall, I say, change my mind, I want it orange. You still say, okay. And then one minute before you paint the wall, I say, I want it uh, green. Then you say, okay, because you defer the decision. You have not made the decision until you get closer to work. It's one of the principles of Agile. Do you know of any project management recruiters when I look for a job? Unfortunately, I do not. Uh, but get your CAPM. I think you're going to be okay. Is it better to take an in-person course versus your online course, CAPM? That is, you know, I teach both. So I have both set of classes. I have a in-person course like I'm doing this week. And then I have a, I have a self-paced course. And that is up to how you learn. Self-paced course is always going to be cheaper but you're all by yourself. You can't ask questions. And you got to be dedicated to put in the time and effort. Live classes, well, you're kind of stuck. You got to show up. You got to learn. And you're forced to it. And you can ask questions. So you make your choice there. If you're a dedicated person and you don't uh, need a coach, need somebody to help guide you, and you can just do it by yourself, maybe self-paced works for you. If you're looking to get it over quickly, get get a good structure to pass in. If time is money, Rose, do the in-person. You know, one of the things I tell people is, people will say to me, should I do the in-person or should I do on uh, self-paced? In my experience, live classes makes you certified faster. And you got to look at the cost-benefit. If getting your PMP or your CAPM a month earlier, if the course is, is five hundred dollars, and you get your your CAPM a month earlier, did you make that money back? Like if you get your CAPM right now, in a month faster, and you get a better job, does that make you five hundred dollars more? That's how you got to look at it. It's all about the ROI, right? Tuna, hey Andrew, I'm my exam tomorrow. Got a good night's sleep. Simulator scores. Okay, these are good. 70, uh, review what you got wrong, but your others were fine. Two attempts all above 80. You think I'm ready? Yeah, you'll be fine. Review the mindset, you're going to be okay. Screen designs. That's just designing the layout. The wireframes is from screen to screen. Showing what they're going to look like. Uh, how many formulas should we expect on the exam? On a PMP, two. On a CA, if you're doing CAPM, you might have... Uh, the CAPM exam right now has a ton of freaking formulas, man. If you're doing CAPM, I did CAPM, right? I took that exam a few weeks ago. Maybe 10 questions on formulas, no joke. Uh, hey, Andrew, really appreciate all your PMP materials. Those were very helpful in my preparation and 100% contributed to my triple, oh, congratulations, triple above target in my exam at the first attempt. Congratulations. On that, did you celebrate well? Did you did you uh did you get a piece of cake? How about a couple of beers? Congratulations on that. You know, for all of you folks that have passed, uh, I'm super happy that I was able to help you guys pass. But I need you guys to make sure that you start using that PMP. You know, you pass your PMP, put it to your resume. Hopefully, you guys can get a better job with it. Can we celebrate with Caribbean black cake? I eat that around Christmas time. You know, my mother brings it for me around Christmas time. Every Christmas time I get that. Maybe I'll do a video it's coming up Christmas. Uh, man, can you guys imagine? It's already, it's already like October already. Next week, anyhow. Wow, Christmas is coming around real quick. Yes. Yeah, you can celebrate. That's good stuff, too. I like that. I eat that. It's good stuff, man. Follow up on earlier, I understand that the CAPM changed. Yeah, I started preparing for the PMP, but I'm at the hybrids. Taking step by step, understand the mindset. Sorry, the mindset comes at the end. You're good, you're good. Did you guys click on that like button? Come on, guys. You guys got to click on the... There's like 110 of you and nobody's clicked on the like button. Come on, guys. You guys can at least click. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. All right, it's completely free. What... To do after PGMP afterwards or PSM. Oh, you mean after PMP? PGMP. 
There's nothing much really after that. That's like really high. Afterwards or PSM, figure out what's next. I would do PMI, ACP or CSM. I, uh, PSM, you know, is popular, but CSM is more popular. And I, I like ACP over all of them. It was stated that the product owners attend the retrospective. Is that correct? They can attend it, but doesn't mean they will be involved in it. The retrospective is strictly for the development team. No, they can attend it. They can watch. doesn't mean they're going to participate. Yeah, they got to tell these guys, Orlando, these folks don't want to click on the like button. Come on, guys. Really quickly, click on the like button. Is there any story map for steps taken in order to achieve the roadmap? You could say that. Since risk and pre-mortem and similar, which one should be done first in an agile? Man, you got me. You got a lot of questions for me today. Uh, do them it, since risk identification and pre one of the similar, which should be done first in an agile? Do your risk identification. Um, risk identification always comes first. Hey, Andrew, uh, when did you update your simulator exam questions last? They generally get updated every few months. Every few months. Maybe. When did we do a last update to that simulator? July or June? There were like 20 or 30 new questions added. So what we do is we, we remove questions and we just add new ones in. If you're in that update, you'll notice, you'll see it. You'll see that you're uh, on there. So June, July, something like that. Where can I sign up for your live class? Well, uh, if you want to take a live class with me, you do TIA, PM, mastermind.com. TIA PM mastermind.com. Uh, or if you want to just do a live class with our company, do TIA edu.com and select PMP from there. I teach very few classes. Once every other month, I may teach a class. But my other instructors are even better than I am. Yeah, Andrew, I purchased your book via Amazon. I remember in one of you, you said that there would be an update to this book. Uh, it's fine. I didn't really update because I didn't find the point to it. It's fully, it's fully updated for the current exam. You're fine. What I do is I add new video. I add content to the video course. When you get the book, make sure you get the video course. Uh, may I know what is the recommended preparation time? Well, we just answered that. 60 to 100 hours. Anywhere from... Uh, and, and the course is 35 hours. So if you do the math on that, 60 to 100 hours. I don't know what that works out to be. For you, if you study... Two hours a day, it'll take you a month. If you study one hour a day, it'll take you a very long time. Hey, Andrew, uh, on previous live, you mentioned we should send an email to TIA. You see the book of the Demi course. Can you advise what we receive in return? On previous, you mentioned we should send an email. When you purchase the book, it comes with a 35-hour class. All right, so if you go... If you go to Amazon, you buy the book, it comes with this 35-hour class. All right, so in the back of the book, if you have problems receiving the course, because sometimes people put their work email, and then our, our registration links get kickbacks. So if you have any problems, follow the email in the book, and they'll help you out. All right, it's a third-party system we use, so they support this thing themselves. I did three in the simulator, three exams, seven, okay. For the one I got seven, I spent 10 minutes writing formulas and processing. That got me under pressure. What do you think? You don't need to do that anymore. You do need to know your formulas, but I don't think you need to, uh, you know, I don't think you need to write down your formulas anymore. I don't think so. Carlos says, uh... Carlos, Carlos, what are you saying here? Can't, can't stay, but wanted to drop in and say hi. Hello, Carlos. I'm taking your CA. I don't know what C, CPAM is, but CAPM, I'm pretty sure is what you mean. Exam class. So far, loving how you teach the content, hoping to finish and take the test soon and pass very soon. You got this, Carlos. Uh, thank you, Carlos, for selecting my course, and hopefully you learn a lot. Pass your exam. When you come back, let us know when you ace your test. All right, guys, very good. I see that you guys have ran out of questions, so that is absolutely amazing because I 
would like to uh where is this thing well, we got another question here So uh, are, are the at the contracting stage of Naja, how well is the scope defined? No one knows that. <laughs> no one ever knows the answer to that question. It depends on where the project is. Hey Andrew, appreciate the course and the similar question. I'm doing sixty, then retaking after reviewing incorrect. Then I do the next sixty and repeat. Is that efficient? Yeah, that's fine. Just know the mindset. Is the CAPM easier than the PMP? Yes by a lot the CAPM doesn't it has its situations but it's a very easy situation it's not very debatable choices on most questions you'll see on the simulator when I make it because it's going to be very close to the test in mock exam the questions try to confuse you try to confuse issues with risk what do you recommend just remember risk is something that may happen hasn't happened an issue is something that has happened and is causing issues on your project all right All right, guys, let's take a look here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, we got some more questions. All right, let me answer these quickly. Let's see. Um, do we get to use a calculator during the, uh, yes, they give you like the Windows calculator. It's actually built into the exam. I closely reviewed the explanation mentioned in the simulator. For some of the questions, the answers are pretty close. And for some of them, uh, you just have mentioned that it could be any options, but how I'm, I can't remember that. Uh, how to deal with such a situation? Well, you got to tell me the situation. You got to know the mindset. Listen to me explaining it in there. I passed the PMP on Thursday. Congratulations. Nine months pregnant. Wow. It's tough. Absolutely congratulations. Uh, War Blue celebrated with a non-alcoholic beer. That's the way to do it. <laughs> and my husband and a cupcake with my daughter. That sounds amazing. The best way to celebrate with family. And that's the way we do it. Thank you for studying material. Good to start maternity. So congratulations on your baby. Hopefully everything is going great with you and your baby and your PMP. When you finish maternity leave, put that PMP to use. Congratulations on that. And that, everyone, is a tough thing to do. I remember when my wife was pregnant. That's not an easy thing, man. Amazing. Congratulations on that. Uh, you mentioned we do not need to write down formulas anymore in the first few minutes. Does that mean the calculation questions are not many? No, they're not that much. Maybe one or two. And they're not very complex. So I don't think you need to... D. Alexander, Andrew, thank you so much. I took your Udemy course, purchased the simulator. The simulation helped me find my knowledge gaps. I passed the PMP today with all above target. You rock. Congratulations on passing. Did you celebrate well, first of all? Maybe you're celebrating right now. Maybe you're eating a couple of pieces of cake. Maybe you're uh, drinking a couple of beers. Congratulations on passing your exam. We're super happy. We have helped you pass your test. So congratulations on that. Don't forget, hopefully you can use that PMP, get a new job. Andrew, any virtual example of when a project kickoff meeting sounds like for beginners to get a feel of what the year the feel is like? I don't know what you mean by that. A kickoff meeting is when you bring everybody together and you say, let's get this project going. Kickoff meetings can happen generally right before the project is executed. It's just you're bringing people together and you're telling them, oh, the project is going to be doing this. Think about bringing all your family members together to plan a party or something. It's really, really what it is. Um, a lot of reviews are PMP Hall. I don't know what that is. A waste of money. What's your opinion? I don't even know what that is. Can I reattempt your test on the Udemy and Simulator instead? Yeah. Oh, you mean Study Hall? 
PMI study. I, I don't know anything about it. I've never used it, so I'm not going to comment on it. Plus, I don't comment on other people's stuff at all. Even if I know it, I'm not going to comment on it. You see, my opinion on other people's materials doesn't matter because I'm already PMP certified. <laughs> so it's not like I can use somebody's material and then go take the test. Um, it's only, you know, other people's opinion matters. Like, only other folks that are taking their exam matters, not mine. So I don't comment on nobody's stuff. Everybody has amazing stuff. How about that? Prashad, my application for PMP has been accepted today. Good. I'm a sales executive. I'm surprised they had accepted. They accept almost everybody. It's no worries. Project manager is a whole new field for me. Hoping to pass it. You got this. Go through the course, know the simulator. The simulator and mindset overview are key. Thank you for that. All right, D. Alexander, tell these guys. Get, guys, if you want to pass your exam, get the simulator. You can pass your test. Hardest part of the exam for me was I could narrow it down to two, eliminating the bad answer using the mindset. Uh, to two good answers, and that's where I got hung up, but finished with two minutes and three above tars. Well, then the mindset knocked and nailed it for you, man. You got this. That's what the mindset does. How should the definition of done relate to the scope that is agreed on the con? I don't even know what that means. Should the definition of done relate to the definition of done says what is the criteria for when we know something is finished? Relate to the scope. It's the work. So it's related to the scope. I don't know what that means with contract. Um, thank you, Andrew, for your PMP materials. I scheduled it October 9th. You got this. Come back. Let us know when you pass the test. All right. Come back. Let us know when you pass your exam. All right. I think I got, uh... I think I got everybody. So you, okay, just start a Udemy course and agree it's really well designed. Refer to the mindset. Hit the like. Can you guys click on the like button? Come on, guys. 110 of you guys not clicking on that like button. Guys, let's do some practice questions. I've answered everybody. You guys can keep putting questions in the box. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll answer it. Somebody says, what is a score on the simulator is a good sign that you're ready. Uh, a good sign on the simulator is going to be 80%. 80% is a good score. All right, guys. Let's take a look here at some practice questions, and then we'll be done. Practice questions. Here we go. Here we go with some practice questions, guys. Here we go. Number one, the project has the following characteristics, $3 million budget. It has a planned cost, uh, AC, 650 earned value. What statement is true of this project? Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box, guys. Manhattan Real Estate says, what kind of beer and what kind of cake? So, you know, I could spend hours on this, but the best beer out there, to me, is a nice IPA. All right, so... One beer I like really good is Dogfish 60-Minute uh, IPA. Uh, that's one of my favorite beers. I also, if I'm not in the mood, you know, 90% of the time do I like that beer. If not, some uh, Blue Point Toasted Lager, that's good. Or you can get some uh, Sam Adams Seasonal. Sometimes, sometimes those are good. Not a fan of the summer one, but the Oktoberfest is out. I had a couple of that. So that's what you get for beer. And then for cake, carrot cake, chocolate cake. There you go. That's what it's about. All right, guys, put the answers in the box, guys. What did you guys get? Uh, do you need a microphone turned on for the exam if you're taking it from home? Yes. You do need a microphone. Hey, Andrew, uh, the, sim the CAPM simulator next week or the following week? Hopefully next week. Maybe now. Next week I'm super busy again. Good day. Real life question. What to do if the project sponsor is not happy with the time it takes and says reduce bureaucracy, just do an executed. Then ask the project sponsor if they want a well-executed project or a not-so-well-executed project. All right? That's what you got to ask them. 
All right, let's put the answers up, guys. The answer here is going to be... See? Now, you could, you could have done this without even doing any calculation. So, if your EV is smaller or larger than your AC and your PV, then, you know, you can already calculate it. So, for example, if your EV is smaller than your AC, you already know that the formula for CV is negative. So you over budget. If your EV is bigger than your PV, then it's a positive number. Then it's bigger. Then it's ahead of schedule. So enter C. So you, you don't, you know, without doing the calculations, I mean, these were simple calculations, you could literally have answered that. So you know the following about a new project. Assumptions, high level risk, preliminary scope. After receiving this info, what should you do next? All right, what are we gonna be doing next? Sign the team, prepare the schedule, obtain the charter, make sure you understand the business case. What are we doing? Put the answers in the box. All right, put the answers in the box. All right, guys, put the answers in the box. Listen to myself. Carlos can't stay but wants to drop the All right, what have you guys got? Uh, this is a kind of a tricky question. So hopefully you guys are able to uh, get it. Don't get tricked. All right, the answer here. Now I know a lot of you guys got to see. It sounds like you're making a project charter. But remember, another input to the charter is the business case. Before a charter can get approved by a sponsor or you have the, the charter can't get approved without a business case. Remember, the business case proves what value does the project bring. So before you do C, you have to do D. So that's why C is incorrect. Prepare the schedule, that's done in planning. Assign the team, that's done in executing. So those answers did not make sense. Practice question number three, the following features describes your project. Distribute a team, budget that is fixed, government regulated scope, What's the best way to avoid scope creep? Be sure any scope changes go through a formal approval process. Schedule daily stand-ups. Request that all development teams present daily reports, detailed reports. Prevent stakeholders from interacting with the team. Put the answer in the box, guys. Put the answers in the box. Let us know what you guys got. All right, put the answers in the box. All right, a lot of you guys have the answer as A. That is absolutely correct. If the scope has to go through a formal change approval process, makes it harder for any changes to happen to the scope without it being approved. Daily stand-up is not going to work because this is more of a, uh, uh, what you call, a traditional project. Request all development teams. So this is not going to stop scope creep. Prevent stakeholders from interacting but they can probably still ask for changes or submit all types of changes. So one of the things, part of the mindset, if something sounds negative, like stop the project, fire someone, prevent something, is probably not going to be the answer. Practice question number four. A change is necessary to achieve the required 
uh, required quality level due to cost, project cost. After issue and a formal change request, project manager should complain to stakeholders about this communication method. How should the project plan handle it? Review the communication management plan and stakeholder. Change the management plans to include stakeholders' expectations. Schedule a discussion to fully understand stakeholders. Fix the communication and implement it. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. All right, guys, very good. Okay, guys, put the answer in the box. What did you guys get? A is correct. You know, part of the mindset is not to take action, right? When there's a situation, just don't go and change stuff and fire people and, and, and implement things. Don't do that. Fixing the plan is changing something. Never give away your problems, all right? The sponsor. Never go to the sponsor. Never give away your problems. You have to solve your problems. Confront your problems. Change the plan. You can't change a plan without a state, without a change request. The best thing you can do is review it, all right? That's how you should do. Review it and then see maybe what needs to change. Practice question five. Due to an HR risk, the sponsor requested you change the production methods. How should the PM handle the situation? Quickly implement the critical change, submit a change request. Adhere to the, pro the documented project change control process. Halt all work. Refuse to make the change. Put the answers in the box. All right. Uh, you guys got some comments. Let's see. If I want to take the TIA prep course, I don't know what ITA is, TIA. Not IT. Uh, prep course. Do I need to buy the exam? No. No, no, no. Not at all. Uh, but assumptions comes as an output charter. Will this not be the answer? No. I, I don't know what, which one you're talking about. I remember you say review, assess, take action. That's right. That's, that's how it is, Tom. Does the TIA prep course, if you buy the live class, it comes with the study guide. It comes with the e-learning course, it comes with the simulator, it comes with all that stuff. Benajar, I'm brand new to study and for the, uh, I'm brand new to study of PMP. I like his style. Number one, I taught middle school through community college for 22 years. Will I be able to use this for qualifying experience? If you worked on projects in those 22 years, within the last eight years, have you done at least three years of working on any kind of, it doesn't matter what project, it has to be some kind of projects. Is it necessary to recommend the CAPM first if you cannot make the 36 months of experience needed to qualify for the PMP, then do the CAPM? The answer here, guys, is, of course, stick with the documented process at all times. If there's a process in the uh, change management plan, stick with that. Don't implement this critical change and submit it. Notice it says quickly implement this change. You can't do that. The change has to be assessed. And submit a change request once the emergency is no, because you don't know what that could have done. That could have destroyed the project. So definitely not. Never implement the change without an approved change request, man. I keep telling you guys that. Never stop the project. Unless somebody might die, don't do that. Never refuse changes either. Practice question number six. Five necessary changes came to the attention of the team during execution, and the team cannot agree on how to implement the changes. How should the PM handle this? Schedule a discussion to sponsor. Organize a meeting to review the issues and implement the changes. Ensure the team members and stakeholders comprehend change management plan and stick to it. Confirm that all required changes are applied, and be sure to communicate. Put the answers in the box. 
Summit says my application got approved today. Not gonna schedule it. You got this. Take it. Let us know. All right, come back. Let us know what happens. All right, guys, put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Let's see what you guys got. A, B, C. Come on, we just we just went over this. Some of you guys still got it wrong. You remember, you are in a traditional project. Notice it says execution. Cannot agree on how to implement changes. If the team, can, you know, it's not about agreeing how to implement the change. It's about following the plan. This is a traditional project. Never go to the sponsor. We know it's not a. Organize a meeting with the team to review the issue and implement the changes where needed. No, no, no. You can't do that. You can't just review the issue and implement the changes. Okay? You have to... Submit a change request. You got to assess the change. And then the change is approved. Then you can implement the changes. The team just doesn't get to approve the change. It's probably the project sponsor or, or the change control board. Definitely not B. A lot of you guys select B. You guys got to read carefully, man. S ensure all team members stay. Remember, it's a, it's a traditional project. Stay to the plan. Confirm all required change or approve. No. Stick to the plan. All right, really quick one. A project team has decided to blank the project says to complete the project by running task in parallel. If you're running task in parallel, then what are you doing? All right, what are you doing? Are you fast tracking, crashing, decomposing, or are you limiting project? What are you doing here? Put the answer in the box. Come on, put the answer in the box. Put the answers in the box. All right, guys, easy one, guys. That's right. It's fast tracking. Fast tracking, run things in parallel versus uh, crashing, which is adding more resources to finish quicker. Decomposing is breaking work. Now, there's no such thing as limit. All right, number eight. We have nine questions. An agile team is monitoring the status. What tool will they use to monitor the status of the project? What tools can they use? Select two options here. I failed a few practice questions simulator because I didn't read the question yet. Part of getting the question right is reading it. Did you know that? <laughs> you know that. Part of getting the question right is you have to read the whole thing, not part of it, all of it. Do not read half the question. Hey, Andrew, this is my first time in your life. I bought your 35-hour PDU on Udemy, which I should, which I have been using to prepare. Would this be sufficient to make the exam? Yeah, it should be okay. If there would be an answer saying, access the change, look at the impact. Assess the change, yeah, that would be a good answer. All right, guys, Agile loves to use burn up and burn down charts. This tells you, how much work has been done and uh, how much work remains to be done. The network diagram is more used on traditional projects, critical path management. Pareto charts technically can be used on both, but that's to find problems and so is a fishbone diagram. They're not really going to help you look at the project schedule. These are more used on um, quality. 
Last question, guys. An agile team is reviewing how much work they complete in the last sprint. They will use this information to determine their blank. This way, they can best estimate how were it should say how much. All right, I mistake there. How m u c h? How much work to get done in the next iteration? Neta Nailash says, Hey, Andrew, I appeared the PMP exam, passed with three above target. Congratulations. Follow your demi course, TI Simulator Mindset Reading Apps. Thank you so much. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How about a couple of yes? Congratulations on passing that. Super happy we're able to help you pass. You guys, when you guys write, you guys gotta, you know, tell me how you celebrate it. It's important. Try not to run out of time. And you gotta be careful, man. I right, put the answers in the box. This one is pretty easy. All right, put the answers in the box. Everybody's got this one. Yeah, C velocity, team velocity. Velocity says. How much work, how fast they're doing work. So it's team velocity is how agile ranks at methods, approach, and limits really doesn't exist. All right, guys, that is the end of this section, guys. All right, guys, we are done here for tonight, guys. Thank you guys for coming out, keeping us, keeping the, the world interesting. For all of you guys that have uh, come back, let us know. Thank you guys. We're going to be doing giveaways in a few weeks. Um, I will not be here next week, all right? So if you're joining, no live stream next week, guys. I'm actually going to be out all week next week. So I will see you guys in two weeks, in which case we are going to be doing a giveaway in two weeks. So join me in two weeks for a giveaway of some PDUs and some free classes coming up in two weeks. So I'll see you guys in two weeks. Um, somebody says a question. I took my PMP and missed on the time, and so I ran out of time. How do you increase your speed? Do more practice questions, man. You shouldn't have let that happen. You should watch the timer. Don't run out of time, guys. If you run out of time, you're probably going to fail. Fast tracking to do parallel. If you increase cost, then answer would be crashing. Cost, crashing is cost. Hey, Andrew, I recently decided to get PMP all my research points to union material. I'll be relying on your expertise. You got this. Guys, thank you guys for coming out. You guys have a great night, week, weekend, day, month, year, decade, millennium, and century. If you're taking your exam within the next seven days, uh, I should say within the next 14 days because I'll be back in two weeks. If you're taking your exam within the next 14 days, good luck. Come back. Let us know when you pass your exam. If you're taking it in more than 14 days, don't give up. Look at all these people that are passing. You're going to ace your exam. All right. You will do just fine. Somebody says here, uh, Andrew, I took my PMP exam yesterday and passed. Congratulations. Above target and all domains. Thank you for your course. These YouTube videos, not a problem. Congratulations on that. Surprise at him. Third or quarter. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of agile questions. Guys, I am out, guys. Uh, by the way, click on the like button. Did you guys click on the like button? Yeah, we need six more likes. I don't know what's wrong with these guys. Guys, good luck, guys. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Okay, two weeks, I'll be back.